Trust has remained an issue with Iran since Americans were taken hostage from the U.S. Embassy in 1979. And one of those hostages is from the St. Louis area. News 4's Vented Blandin talks with Marine Corps Sergeant Rocky Sickman about the time he spent in captivity. Now Sam Rocky Sickman is looking at this as familiar territory. He was standing guard at the U.S. Embassy in Iran on November 4th, 1979. He remained captive 444 days. The latest run-ins with Iran stirs up bad memories, but offers hope for a better future. Iran has got to be held accountable, and hopefully uh, we're not going to have to go to war. If they are become foolish, uh, hopefully we're going to strike in one of those 52 uh, locations. That number reflects the sites the president has threatened to target in Iran. But 52, also the number of hostages taken in 1979, Rocky Sickman being one of them. He spent more than a year as a hostage when radical Islamic students stormed the compound. Sickman says he's proud of the action the president has taken so far with Iran. It was uh, amazing that President Trump uh, you know, called out the Iran hostages, 52. Uh, it, it's 40 years ago, and he's brought it back into life, uh, reminding the American people that 52 Americans were stripped their freedom, their dignity, and their pride on November 4th, 1979. Yet, it's tough for him to see the tensions with Iran flare back up. It's heartbreaking, uh, and it was then, and it is still to this day, because Iran has never been held accountable for what happened. And uh, the interesting thing is uh, the United States paid at that time $8.3 billion. He often thinks back to the days of being held captive, but what bothers him most is the loss of eight service members back then. For that, he's all in for putting pressure on the Iranians. It's uh, 40, 40 years, and how many American presidents has Iran humiliated? And now they've got a president that hopefully all of our, our, our government comes together to see that something's got to happen here. Th this country, um, Iran, is in the middle of Iraq, Afghanistan, Pakistan, where the surrounding have been in war war haven. Uh, Iran is the head of that ugly snake, that evil snake. Rocky Sigman prefers things between the U.S. and Iran calm down, but says if they don't, Iran's military doesn't stand a chance against the U.S. military. Benson Blandon, News 4.